Now let's turn our attention to media, beginning with a lot of work off camera in that the creation of a content type that is going to house these, along with the customization of those settings in there and your patterns, and activation of the modules that I will be using in this demonstration, beginning with the activation of field entity, saving settings, activating media, saving settings, and so on, until you can finally turn on Media YouTube and save your settings. Keep in mind I am working with version 1 of media, which contains the field entity within it. Version 2 of media, which has some very exciting features, will have the field entity split out into its own project. So by all means, if you plan to use these in your own sites, do monitor the progress on that on the Drupal site, find out where they are, and participate where you can. In the demonstration of what you're going to see me do, I will update the text format for full HTML to include the necessary markup and add a field to that new content type that is going to hold the link to the YouTube videos. Finally, an example content post will be created so that you'll get an idea of how it will look in a site. One of the first things I need to do with text formats, is something I forgot to do earlier, is to change the priority of the text formats themselves from the most permissive down to the least because that way those who have permission to use these more permissive text formats will have them enabled for them automatically upon the creation of content. Under the full HTML text format, I'm adding the convert media tags to markup in case I should want to use this within the rich text editor. Now all we need to do is go to content types and our new one. We are going to add our new field which is going to be called YouTube videos which is a going to be a file type but instead of the generic file we're going to change to the media selector. Now, save that. Don't worry about this. Let me paste my prepared text in place. And I'm going to say this is a video type. And it's not actually going to be uploading files. We're going to be attaching for YouTube. Let's turn that off. And save. Now we need to adjust our display so if things are in the manner desired. Let's just move it up to the top. Save that. Turn off the label and we want it to be turned to a rendered file. I'm going to choose the large view for this is the node body. And now I'm saving that. In the teaser, which is going to be what's going to show on the front page, and I'm going to put this up at the top. Again, hide that. Turn it again to the rendered file. And this time I will set it to the preview mode, which is going to be a thumbnail image. Take a moment to review my settings to make sure they're the right way, and then hit save. Now let's create our example. I'm going to click on the Add Content, the type we want to create. We're going to just call this sample video, and I'm not going to actually add anything to the body here at all. Select Media, 
and I'm going to the web. Let me paste my URL in there and submit. And now you can see my preview thumbnail for that media. And let me just save it. And there you can see it's under the desired path. And there is the full large view that I wanted, which you can hit play on to watch the video. On the home page, now there is the thumbnail, which would of course take someone to that page. Another option for working with media, for those of you that would prefer to have your video appear somewhere within the body of your content, is, and I will use the same content piece to demonstrate this, let's remove that attached video and let me first paste in some text. We want our video to appear here. We click on the media icon. We get our same interface again. This only works if you've turned on the media support as I showed you in text formats. Let's paste in our code for our video. Now we're asked what format we want it to show in within our node. And we're going to leave it at large and click Submit. And there it is showing us our preview of what it's going to look at. And when I hit Preview, you note that it's no longer showing in our trimmed version or teaser, but it is showing just fine as desired down in our content. How you manage yours is very much up to how you want things done on your site. Thanks for watching.